Hello there, it's Nick Thorne. Are you fascinated by family history programmes on the TV? Would you like to trace your ancestors from the British Isles with ease on the internet and be let in on the secrets professional use to break through those brick walls that so frustrate the amateur? Now, Family tree research is obviously a growing pastime for many of us. There are television shows that can pull in six million British viewers at a time and there's large exhibitions that appear in central London all the way up and down the country each year. And this proves how keen we are on this type of history. But some of our ancestors do seem to hide away from the casual search on the web. And with time you may work out how to unlock the records or you could just get going today. If you'd like to trace your British Isles ancestors by looking at a few websites from home and be shown the tips and tricks of the professionals, then you need to have a look at my resource, Beginning Family History on the Internet. It's downloadable, available 24-7. Now this report takes you through the basics of internet genealogy and beyond, with helpful tips on how to get past those tiresome blockades that do seem to insist on springing up for almost every one of us family history researchers. When you started out, you perhaps took out a subscription to the website and plugged in a few of your ancestors into the search box and clicked. Chances are that you found some of them in the census records, but then for some reason your forebears disappeared. Frustration will set in, and a lot of us just give up or hand the project over to a professional. But I can show you some of the techniques that may unblock the logjam and get you going again. Now, it's possible that you're a little bit sceptical. Well, that's normal and healthy, but let me give you three good reasons why you should put your mind at rest. Reason one, if you're stuck and think that your family must be the only one that managed to be missed out of uh, some or maybe all of the official British Isles document collections, well, you're not alone. If you can't understand why others find it easy to find great-great-grandparents on the websites while the oars hide away from you, I know how you feel, as I've been there too. Not so long ago, I was in your position, and so I can identify with your frustration. And consequently, I've written this manual from my own experience. Reason two, I've decided to scratch beneath the surface, and in this downloadable report, I'll show you some of the techniques that I've learnt that you can easily use, as I have, to get back on track. For example, how did I find the birth date of a sibling of my grandmother's who died in infancy and no one can tell me when? Reason 3. Whenever possible I like to explain in simple terms and even include some screencasts that will show you exactly the steps that I take myself. As a bonus I've included a link to a helpful screencast video within my website. It'll show you the steps to take to crack the brick walls on Ancestor Research websites so that they can begin to reveal the valuable information that they contain. Now here's a summary of the benefits that you receive in this downloadable resource. Five golden rules of family research to set you on track. Using family history software. How to populate your tree from the major online sites using the free sites to find birth, marriages and deaths in Britain, specialist tips for finding lost siblings and more, brick walls and how to burst through them, many other tips and advice given to me by professionals and passed on in simple words and pictures, going beyond the census, how to do it, where to look, specialist software to find English, Scots and Welsh parish locations, a free source is revealed. This piece of software will be invaluable to you once you get past the online UK Census database years. In other words, any time before 1841. Parish records. I tell you all about the smallest local administrative areas of England and Wales. How do we start with parish records? Indexes and aids to parish records. And some of the other websites that can be really helpful. But that's not all. What about using old trade directories? To I show you an example where I went and found some of my ancestors who were in business in Plymouth. 
I show you an example, a real live example, of one of my ancestors who was a plumber and brass founder in Plymouth. And I find him on the web in a trade directory. Also, if you've got ancestors who are upper class, you may be able to find their addresses listed in the front of these trade directories, as they were there to make it easy for tradesmen to deliver to them. We also look at access to archives and online parish clerks and I show you how to find out if there is a parish clerk for your area. Then there's a section of my recommendations. These are websites that I've found useful in my own research as I've tried to populate my own family tree. Lastly I offer a free bonus where you can go and view a video completely free within my website that will take you through how to get past brick walls. All you have to do is click on the link or the image within the downloadable report and as long as you're online at the time you'll be taken direct to this free video to watch. But that's not all because I'm also offering within the package downloadable audio podcasts and I offer you a video and this time it's a screencast where you can watch me actually populating my family tree with my first ancestor. Now you may be wondering how all of these points are achievable. Well don't take my word for it, listen to what some of my recent users are saying. For example you make it easy to understand for the non-technical computer user. C. Clyde from Rugby in the UK. Your package showed me just how simple it was to find information I needed on the Family History websites. Mrs. Derbyshire from Colville in the UK. And listen to this from Ancestry.co.uk's UK Public Relations Manager, Annabel Bernhardt. It's a good ebook and will no doubt help lots of people starting out in the family history research. Beginning Family History is available from www.nosygenealogist.com. Just scroll down the page until you see the link for Beginning Family History. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.